Hello again. I'll keep this very, very short, or at least try to, because I know I do tend to waffle on a bit. Uh, we're out again, obviously, fishing. If you haven't already been, welcome to the channel, uh, Frugal Outdoors and myself, Dylan. I'm out tonight uh, with Tom, who's a subscriber. I'll introduce you to him later. I haven't fished with him before. Lovely bloke, he's just recently moved to the island. And uh, we've been trying to get out fishing together for a while, and uh, we've finally done it. So we're down at Bryson tonight. Condition look pretty good, it's a pretty big tide. And uh, the sea's got plenty of colour in it. It looks wicked actually, there's a lot of weed on the beach, but I'm hoping that's quite high up. I'm hoping we can fish the tide up. It's pretty much bang on low tide, it's gonna start coming up in a bit, if not already. And we'll bang some baits out. So I'm gonna get set up very, very quick, show you my bait, because I am I'm determined to try and get a cod off the island. So I've got some fresh blacks, but anyway, I'll show you them in a sec. Let's get set up and I'll bring you back. Ah, right, so quickly then, because although it looks very light on here, the light is actually going, it's quite dark. I'm gonna have to probably put head torch on very, very soon. Um, two Tronics Pros, competition match. One is a GT, one is an ST. ST is a more sensitive, uh, two paired up two Shimano 14,000 speed masters uh, so on the sensitive one I've got two at flapper uh, well it's not two at flapper sorry it's two hook loop rig Portsmouth loop rig uh, that has got a whole fresh black lug on each hook size ones tipped off the bit of squid that one's on a pulley panel with a 2-0 uh, 2-0 pulley panel and that's a whole squid with a uh, black lug strapped to the side of it right so, <laughs> some of you will know all about this. Just been doing some video in. Forgot to push go. Uh, yeah, so they're out now anyway. I was just explaining, like so, I've got some black lug. Oh, I've got a bite. I've got some black lug. Um, bite already, uh, black lug from Abbotsbury on the way home. Uh, I've been on the mainland, went up to Wales to see uh, see my dad and take my kids uh, I'm on the way back stopped in at Abbotsbury got some black lug because you can't get them on the island uh, so yeah so I really wanted to get some I really want to push push try and get a cod this year from from the Isle of Wight they are here so it'd be nice if I could try and get one get a native uh, but yeah we'll have to have to see about that I think one led trips but conditions look really good water's quite dirty there's some swell out there We've had some really rough weather, but it's not as rough now at all. Um, very, very windy, not very windy. It's windy enough. Uh, I've got a new camera, which I'll set up in a minute, uh, which will hopefully stop all the light issues that I've been having. But anyway, let's carry on fishing. Here we go, so new camera. So we'll try and get, hopefully I've got a little uh, dead, dead cat I think they call it on the top we'll see hopefully it will improve things it's not going to improve the fishing but it might improve the, the video quality anyway we can put the light down there now it's not blinding me completely I've got a screen there I can see I can make sure when I get a fish I'm right in the middle I can get shadow in my face there you go look, look at that so I still need to make adjustments but anyway it should work should be better I need to check one of the rods straight away because it kind of um, yeah, it's moved anyway, put it that way. Um, the lead, I think the lead's tripped, so I'm going to have to have a quick check of it. It looked like I was getting a bite, but it was obviously a wave, I think. I'd say we got probably five hours, I reckon, of fishing, so can't wait. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm not bright white. Should be able to see everything. It's hopefully, hopefully, could be a good thing. If I can learn not to look at the screen and actually look at the camera, there we go. Right, I'm going to check that rod on the left hand side. It's really off putting having a screen there now, but I, I do prefer it because obviously I can make sure I'm in frame now. Um, hopefully, you can hear me. Like I say, I have no, it's the first time I've used this camera, so I have no idea how this video is going to come out. Hopefully, it will be worthy of an edit. 
Um, but my left hand rod is really pulling in now, so I'm going to check it. I haven't even got another rig ready yet. I haven't, you know, we've been gassing, so. Uh, I'm going to bring the left hand rod in, have a quick nose, get another bait ready, lob that out, and then uh, sit back and enjoy. a quick show of this and I'm gonna to have to take a light and a, and a camera over because Tom's just caught a bass and a pout on the same hook but there we go it's a nice little uh, first fish nice nice size pout I'll probably keep that use that one for bait right you'll have to excuse the wind on this one I've got to come over because he hasn't caught a bloody bass it's caught bloody codlin again. Look at that, mate! Look at the I'm size of that pal. <laughs> right, just for, to go to show. That's my boot, and that's the pal, and that's a lovely cod, mate. Isn't it? Happy days, Beauty. oh mate! You jammy so and so. <laughs> Proper nailed it as well. What bait was that on? Squid. Squid sandeel. Squid and sand eel. There you go. On a pulley panel, is it? Yes, mate. And a fish on each hook. First chuck. <laughs> Tom. How many how many cod in have you had on the island, Tom? Two, mate. And how did you get the first one, Tom? <laughs> on baited feathers. <laughs> <laughs> you jammy so and so. Well done, mate. That's Thanks, absolutely mate. epic. Epic! They're here? Yes, mate. Get in. I have to bleep that out. <laughs> Wow, there you go, man. Unbelievable. Let me just turn this light off. He's jammy so-and-so. So he's had two cod on the island. I haven't had one, but it goes to show that here. And he had two fish on a pulley panel. It's wicked, really. I mean, credit where credit's due. That's epic. So yeah, I need to bait up. He had that on uh, squid and sandy will wrap. He's going for a ray. Uh, so I need to bring this one in because obviously they're there. You never know, might get more than one, but that is so cool. I'm so chuffed for him. Oh, mate, brill. It's not a codling, but... So that's on the lube rig, so I've got another another pout on the top one there. And a, and a bigger pout on the bottom one, so I'm definitely going to be putting out a bass bait uh, with, with some pout, I mean. Be a shame not to if there's that many pout in there then there's going to be fish feeding on them likewise the codling would be feeding on them as well so brill that's three hooks i've chucked out and i've had three fish fish on both both rods first chuck so yeah wicked very productive oh i need a little bit of a breather to go we've been fish not for very long i'm only on my second cast and i've missed fish on both both rods missed the bite. Knackered. <laughs> it's really busy. I've not had an opportunity to bait up a second rig at all yet. I'm having to bring them in, bait them, chuck them out. By the time I've chucked both out, bring the other one in because there's either been a bite on it. A little bit, there is some weed in the water for sure. But yeah, man, there's some fish out there. I can't get over that. I come down specifically for a codling and Tom gets it. He's like, I don't know, 20 meters over there. But yeah, epic, so I'm going to keep chucking them out anyway. <sighs> Hopefully, like I say, the sound's all right. It's, it's, it's all a new, it's a new process for me, so hopefully it's working out. Nothing huge, but we're definitely getting into some fish. This is great fun. It's not giving us a lot of time. Literally, baits it in the water. You stand it around, you have a little sort out. Boom, it's like it's something else on. So yeah, it's really good fun. I'm sure it'll die off at some point, but we're fishing the whole flood of the tide, so it could stay like this all night. But yeah, 
Strap conga. Strap and three pouts so far, and I've missed a couple as well. That's a better one. There we go. He's still got, still got the panel hook in his chop, so I'm gonna have to get that out before I chuck him back in. But yeah, that's definitely, definitely a bit better. I've got another pout on the other rod. Yeah, I can't get a second or a third rig really baited up. So full on, but much, much fun. I'm loving it, but I'm knackered already. We've been fishing for now, just over an hour, so. But anyway, let's get this one, get this hook out of his gob, get him back in. Ah, there we go. Let's get him back. Woohoo! Woo! Right. I finally got both rods in the water and I'm looking up and there's no bite, so I'm going to bait up another rig. I might end up going just down a penal, uh, pulley panels or an up and over or something in a minute if it keeps like that. I can't keep baiting the hooks, it's too, man it's too much. Uh, or go down in one rod if, and then when it slows down I'll chuck two back out again. But yeah, this is very, 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 very enjoyable really nice. I mean, I'm only getting pout and, uh, and little straps or one reasonable decent conga. But yeah, it's fun. It's fishing and we're getting fish, so that's what it's all about. I am really wanting to get a codlin, obviously, but we'll just keep chucking them out, see what happens. We've got three wraps of, um, of uh, blacks. I've got a whole pack of squid and I've got one mackerel. So, uh, that other a uh, bigger conga came to mackerel and squid wrap. Just thought I'd chuck a bigger bait out just to give me some time, but it hasn't. So. But yeah, I'll keep, keep my eye out on those. Hopefully you can see them. And hopefully, yeah, like say the sound is picked up and, and the, the video quality is all right. So.
That's a pretty decent pout. That one will definitely be coming home. That'll be coming home for food. <laughs> Get a couple of nice fillets off of that. Fish and chips, love it. But yeah, happy days. Getting some really, getting into some pretty. Like I say, it's all pout for me. All pout. I haven't even had a chance to speak to Tom. I'm gonna quickly nip over now, actually, before I rebait. But yeah, wicked. Well, that's another pout. I really thought that was someone else then. But they're pretty good size, in all fairness. So, like I say, I will definitely take a couple of fillets off of that bad boy. But yeah, wicked, mate. The fishing's really, really good. Really, just loads of fish. It's, it's pretty full on. It's, it's great. Like I say, I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, get a different species. But, mate, if it stays like that, I'm happy. I'm just, just in the process of moving everything back. Uh, yeah, it's full on, man. It's really good fun. Uh, it's pretty raging. The swell is definitely picked up as the tide's pushed in. Some pretty decent shore dump. Tom thinks he lost something in the surf, which wouldn't surprise me at all because it's pretty it's pretty hefty out there. Uh, but yeah, it's been really good fun so far. So I just need to move the camera and move the lights back and then uh, hopefully you'll be able to see again. There we go. So I just want to quickly show you. So I've, like, it's just probably. Well, I think it's like the second rig I've actually had ready to go out. Uh, so there we go. I can actually get in. Uh, so it's a, it's a whole squid, a uh, whole squid on a pulley pedal, uh, and a flat lug wrapped to the side of it. I 
I've just had to move uh, move my tripod to get it a bit higher because the surf's pretty big now. And it's and it's every now and again the, the swell's tripping my leg and it, and then it's swinging around in the tide. But hopefully we're fishing a bit better now. There we go, we are definitely hitting some big pow tonight. That is a stonker of a pow. Wicked man. That's definitely going on the table. Yeah, wicked, I've just literally, I've just weighed that. I have to weigh it, it's my biggest pound. It's one pound eight. Uh, yeah, that took a, um, that was a whole squid flat lug um, on a pedal with a 2-0. Yeah, I'm chuffed about it. It's been a bit quiet actually. We haven't, had, well, I haven't had a fish for a little while. I haven't, I haven't asked Tom. But yeah, that's the first fish I've had for a little while, so. Uh, yeah, chuffed. Ah, oh, man, I'm really enjoying this. Really good fun. Um, so yeah, I just did a, um, I just measured that pout, because that's, that's the biggest pout I've had, one pound eight. Um, and it's 36 centimeters, which is actually bigger than a minimum keeping size of a cod. Uh, which is mad, isn't it, really, to think that all I want is a cod, uh, because I've never had one, but actually that pout is, within keeping size of a pod so it's a bit of a consolation prize i guess uh it's about half nine so we've been at it now for probably three hours i reckon at least three hours probably a little bit more uh still chucking them out done that cardinal sin i put a rig down on the floor on the shingle cannot find it anywhere so i'm gutted about that i've gutted that i'm gonna end up leaving it on the beach not that it it's a rig and it's a lead i'm not fussed you know what i mean but it's more that it's on the beach somewhere and that's, that's quite annoying. I don't like leaving rubbish about. Uh, I will keep scouring around, see if I can find it, but yeah, one of those things, I guess. Uh, but yeah, really good session, really enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Right, I'm gonna have a go. Not all in all much luck, uh, much hope, but I've just stuck the small, the small pout. Uh, it's got, a, uh, I think it's a 5-0. Straight through, the, straight through the mouth, uh, straight through the nose sort of thing, uh, on a running ledger. It's pretty bumpy out there, you might be able to hear the swell, it's like, it's pretty, pretty big shore dump, so I'm going to have to get it over the back of the shore dump. But you never know, there might be a bass out there, and it might stay untangled long enough to hook it up. Yeah, that's wicked, Tom's just had a rain. We th think it's a small-eyed uh, painted ray. 
Uh, but it's his first one, so I'm stoked for him. So I remember what it was like when I had my first one. I've, I mean, I've only had two rays the whole time I've been fishing. Uh, one of them was tiny, uh, but yeah, I'm really chuffed for him. He's had a, he's had a great session tonight. He's had a codlin, a ray, and a pretty decent sized pout as well. Uh, and I just seem to be nailing the pout. Uh, and a couple of straps, well, and one of them's a bit better, but... Uh, it's been quite quiet since I've had that pout in. And a surf is huge, man. I pulled that pout. I gave it out there for a little bit, maybe sort of 15 minutes on the um, running ledger. But yeah, that surf is stonking. Uh, as you can see, I've moved again. I'm on the other side now. I've had to come right up to the top. Some of that swell that's coming through is really quite chunky. It's getting quite hard to see the bites. I mean, I haven't had a fish for quite a while now. Like I say, Tom's had that, uh, just had that ray. So yeah, he's super, super stoked. First ray, so yeah, brilliant. Now at the moment I've got pulley pedal on each side with squid and black lug. Still holding out for the elusive co codlin. Unfortunately, that time has come. Uh, it's time for me to pack up uh, and get going. So let's say we walked quite a way down the beach because uh, we wanted to make sure, we knew it was a big tide, so we needed to make sure we were gonna get out, out of the, the water, basically, because sometimes at Bryson, Brook, uh, Compton, a lot of places on the back of the island you get cut off really easy. As you can hear, probably, I mean, I'm shouting over it. My voice is going a bit. The surf is So yeah, so I need to pack up anyway, get back. And I, but I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope that the footage has come out all right. And I hope the sound's all right. And say so this is a new camera to me, uh, and I'm just hoping it's all. I'm hoping it's all working and recording fine. So I'm gonna pack up. Hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. I've got loads of power for the table, and I've got a few for bait. And I've had a conga. Tom's had a cracking session. He's had his first ray. And he had a codlin, man. I've seen, I've finally seen a codlin on the Isle of Wight. Brilliant. Uh, so yeah, till the next one. Take care, stay safe. I'll maybe see you out there. Cheers.